Welcome back to the channel. Today, by popular demand, I'm taking a look at the Gerber Micro Tool, which I consider to be UK legal for everyday carry, save, of course, for restricted areas and restricted uses. For example, you cannot carry anything for self-defense like this, which would make it an offensive weapon. But this, as an everyday tool, I think is very useful. So I'm just taking a look at this today. Now, just as with the Spyderco pen knife, this is not a sponsored video. I purchased this with my own funds. I would welcome sponsorships if any manufacturers are listening, but for this one, I purchased myself. Now, first of all, I don't know why it's got cable ties holding it to the cardboard. I'm surely it would be sufficient just to have the cardboard holding it in place, but I had to get some pliers to take this off later because I wasn't going to risk using a knife because I've done that before and caused myself severe injuries. So don't do silly things like that. But aside from that, this really is a micro tool. Very tiny, very sturdy, very solid. So let's open it up and see what we have. I feel the spring immediately. So we have spring sprung pliers. So they seem like they'll be very useful for such a tiny little thing. Next, we have a very small cross flathead driver with a file attached to it. So this might be quite useful as well, albeit a little bit on the small side. Next, we have a tiny pair of scissors that come out that most of you will be familiar with. Next, we have a more typical flathead screwdriver, which would be a little bit more useful by the look of this one. Next one that I'm going to find very useful, a retail package opener with a little hook blade here. Next, we come to the blade that's incorporated into this micro tool. It's not a flat blade, it's a slightly curved edge, but decidedly less than three inches, does not lock, doesn't have any kind of sharp, jagged edges. So this would be a folding pocket knife for the purposes of the legislation, in my view, but of course not to be carried for self-defense. And it's got quite the edge to it. It's not quite as razor sharp as the Spyderco knife that I tested out in my previous video, but it does cut and it would be useful for anything that you need to cut. So overall, a very neat little tool that would be legal to carry, except of course in restricted areas, and so small that you could attach it to your keyring without much fuss and without much additional weight. So I quite like this thing. So do let me know any that you would like me to take a look at. And thank you for watching and remember to subscribe.